Yo, what is up YouTube? My name is Aaron and today we are playing on the map Ascension. We're doing a first room challenge and the reason for this is because I have a theory, if you want to call it that, that we just may get Ascension in Black Ops 3. Now, let me tell you what I'm basing this theory off of and let's go back in time real quick. Let's go back to Black Ops 2, the map Die Rise. As soon as the map ends, you die, the game's over, at the end, you're going to hear a gel door slam. It's like, you know, the classic do 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 and then it hits, and it, you know, there's an echo, you hear chains and stuff. Really nice. People thought, oh, that's the giant, that's what they're going to, that's what it was like the big thing, is there was going to be giants or something like that. And it turns out there was giants in Origins, and on Black Ops 3, a map was called the giant, so... Always keep that in mind, but what it was, was Mob of the Dead. It was, you know, Alcatraz, the door shutting, you hear keys rattling, that was the warden. And it was really cool, it was like a little mini easter egg to tell you what the next map was going to be without, you know, spoiling it or actually telling you what it was. So, what I'm comparing this in, in Black Ops 3, is if you do the easter egg where you can turn your entire game into black and white. And what that got me, what it reminded me of, is Ascension before you turn the power on. So, those two could possibly be linked. And I would say it definitely is highly probable. I mean, they've already brought back the Giant, or Doris. So, I do think this map would fit in well. Because, if you think back, World of War, the best map. And it doesn't matter who you ask and what people say. The Giant is obvious, or Doris is obviously the best map in terms of features. You know, there's Pack a Punch, all the perks. Really big map. You can get high rounds on. It wasn't just a camping map, and the map made sense. Uh, it's still heavily modernized. It just feels like it's a timeless design. This map is also set up the same way. Great for world records, great for low rounds, and it's just kind of timeless. It's just, you can grab your friends, all three of them plus you, and go and play a healthy four player on this map where everyone is having fun. Plus, I like these style of maps where there's only one wonder weapon and you can get it from the box. So, let's talk about my idea if they were to bring this to Black Ops 3. So, already you know, with lighting, and if you look at the giant, Drak or Shadows of Evil, anywhere there's a light of any color, it could be red, blue, uh, just your normal white light, it looks amazing. And I think this map, I mean, there's flashlights all over the ground, it would look amazing. Shadows would be really dark, and it would be very... I hate to use the word scary, but it would really be thrilling to play this map, and especially if they modernized it. So, looking at this map right now, I would put the time era somewhere in the 50s, 60s, and possibly early 70s due to this technology that we see all around us. So, if they brought that up in time, put it where Shadows of Evil is, possibly... I can really see this map being modernized and it looking very cool. I mean, they would have to change it. The rocket would be different. Everything would be different, but it would still feel like the same map. And I'm really all for that. If you modernize zombies and stuff like that, it's kind of like reskinning it, but also giving us other playable areas, although I do not think they would do that. I think it would just be a reskin, much like the giant is. But I'm okay with that too. I mean, it's not too much of a reskin, but it looks good. You know, it's like in a different point of time, and it just, it's changed up just a little bit. But this map would look extremely well modernized. You can take Nuketown for an example. I like it. I like the old Nuketown. I like the new Nuketown. And this map, you know, in my opinion, would look amazing. Let me know what you think down below. Do you want to keep it the exact same, just updated or do you want to see it completely revamped also goes without mentioning phd flopper will not be in black ops 3 possibly could be but i highly doubt it because it's really a dive to prone and you blow up the like the second part of it is being able to you know shoot sallies at the ground and, you know, it wasn't really designed, I mean, it was obviously designed like that, but it wasn't there for real. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. My name is Aaron, I'll see you tomorrow with a brand new commentary.